I'm Steph Strickland with Sun and Fun Aerospace Expo TV, and I am joined now by Mr. Steve Gustafson with Team Aeroshell. How are you doing today? Wonderful. Glad to be here. Thank you for making the time. You got it. Aeroshell, the, the night act alone and the day act, the, the sound of those propellers and the engine and the lights and the smoke, you've got a fantastic job. What got you in this line of work? Well, I took advantage of it, my dad's toys, because he, he had Corsairs, and, and the T6 I'm flying right now, he bought the year before I was born, paid $1,200 for it. It's the very one I'm flying with the team right now. So I soloed as a junior in high school, flew my first air show at 19 years old in that very T6. So people ask us, why did we get the T6, right? Why, how come you guys picked the T6? Well, it was because we all had one. <laughs> <laughs> so that makes it a lot easier. And uh, it's just a good air show platform, as you can well see, because it's big enough, everybody can see it. It makes good noise and good smoke. And they're, they're, they're an enjoyable airplane to fly. They really are. They're, I wouldn't say they're challenging. Some people say they are. Uh, but you learn a lot when you fly those. It's a humbling airplane. It's a humbling airplane. And, and if you can fly it proficiently the way it needs to be, you can just about get in anything and go fly. You really can. I, I didn't re it, people used to tell me that, but it's really true. But. What is, so people can understand when they're watching your flying, what are some of the most technically challenging maneuvers that you fly? You make it look so easy for us on the ground. <laughs> What's going on up there with energy management? Walk me through some of the hard <laughs> stuff. Well, uh, we get asked this sometimes, and uh, most, most people really don't understand what we do unless you've flown a T6. If you've flown one, they understand a, a little more about how hard we're working. The, the planes weigh 5,000 pounds, so you're looking at 20, that's 10 tons of airplane moving around in the sky at one time, six and eight feet off each other. As uh, far as the maneuvers and stuff, uh, I like the night shows. The air is usually more stable, so uh, you can really tighten the show up nicely. As uh, far as maneuvers, uh, I'm flying left wing. I've flown every position on the team because I've been, I'm the only original member still on the team. So I've been moved from here to there and this and that, but uh, they put me in left wing. But most people don't like that side. Why is that? Because they're rolling into you. I mean, really, you think about it when you're flying formation and you're fixing to do a barrel roll. Well, if you're on the right side, they're fixing to do it. Well, they're rolling away from you, so you just keep up. Well, it's different when you're sitting here six, eight feet off somebody, and basically they come at you. <laughs> well, you can't just go away. You, you have to roll inside the formation and hold your position. And there's little tricks and things that I've learned how to do it. If, if you really watch us close, but you really got to be know what you're looking for, you'll see me transition like I'm on, I'm on top of this, the, the lead's wing. And when he rolls into me, instead of pulling the throttle back, I transition below his wing and what that does, it, it's, I have a further distance to go so I can keep my momentum. If you sit up here and just pull the throttle back, when he comes through the back side to get the 5,000 pounds moving again, I tell people you push the throttle up Tuesday and it gets there Friday. <laughs> so so what you, you, you actually cut them off like a horse on a racetrack. I'll, I'll transition here and then about the time as we, we're going through inverted if you you'll watch really close you can see it I will slowly transition to the top side of the wing again like cut a horse on the inside of a racetrack and by doing that I've shortened the distance now so are you with me ah uh, yeah this and, is incredible and by doing that but you have to do it very smoothly and you have to do it uh, gently because if you if you snatch the airplane, if you G it up, it turns into drag instantaneously and it'll just shoot you back. So you, it's a, it's a finesse. I, I call it, you gotta, you have to sneak up on it. And that's the way I, some of my uh, terminology I use, the Southern terminology, I sneak up on it on the backside, so. 
in any way. That's fascinating. Yeah. I'm so glad yeah. I asked that question yeah. because I've watched it a million times. Now I'm going to feel more yeah. knowledgeable when yeah. I have a chance well, to actually really catch watch, this. and you you can see it if you really watch. And, and people don't realize we move around as much as we do in the air, and uh, we learned that over the years talking to the Blue Angels, talking to the Thunderbirds, talking to people. But we would film ourselves, and I would go, no, I'm in position there. That's, that's something, that's not what we finally figured. So in every turn, when we turn, say, away from you guys, if we're turning over here, the guy on the outside goes high and very far forward. And the guy on the inside actually drops down, and it makes us look like we're in formation. It's parallax. So uh, that's it. So actually when you turn and certain, then we might be back into, but we've learned where to maneuver to make it look like we're in formation at all times. And uh, you, ha if you, if you just flew your spot, we would look awful. And the blues do the same thing. They do. They, they move around just for that look for the audience to make it look right. Given your long history with aviation in all forms, you know, crop dusting, all the different airframes you've flown, and it's been in your blood, it's in your family's blood. What does it mean for you to fly sun and fun with uh -huh. all the general aviation and commercial aviation and air show performing that's going on here? I look forward to it every year. And, I, I, you know, we really like to inspire the youth. Uh, try to get them off their cell phones. <laughs> uh, I just, as you know, when I'm getting older, those things just irritate me. You, you know, get them off those cell phones and make, let them realize there's so much more out there that you need to take advantage of. And it just, the wisdom that you get from doing certain things, it, it follows you th all through your adulthood. And uh, we've, we've been flying long enough now that we've done a lot of that. And a lot of these guys now come up, you know, that we took as little kids are now flying with the airlines or the military or agriculture or, I, if you follow me around, I've been stopped at least 20 or 30 times so far. And they, they always come up and, you know, and that, that means a lot. We really, we, we get a kick out of that. It's amazing, and certainly with all of the love for aviation that we have mm -hmm. here, delivering Ooh. those kids to you and getting <laughs> you right in front of them is the absolute way yeah. to do it. One yeah. of the other things that's very important, especially for older airplanes like yours, is to have good business partners. And I know that you have picked up some sponsorships. Can you just tell me a little bit about that? I'm thrilled for you guys. Uh, yes, we uh, uh, Aero LEDs, yeah. Aero Leads, yeah. they stepped up as the number two spot this year. And uh, as you well know, on our night show, look at their lights. Yeah. Um, as, you know, there, there's, it's amazing the technology of those things. Our alternators that we use uh, through Hartzell, we used to have to change an alternator out about every year pulling all those lights. Well, now ever since we started using the LEDs with air leads, I, I just, I've got one on there now. It's almost four years old. And I've never had to change a bulb. That's they nice. last and they last and they last. Uh, and uh, so it's, it's just phenomenal. Yeah. You know, so. Well, and as, as a thank you for all of the sponsors who are out there helping make this happen, even for Sun and Fun, right, with all the mm -hmm. education uh, that is happening here on the campus, this media mm -hmm. lab was, you know, funded at, through some fantastic donors and some sponsor mm -hmm. partnerships. And you know why? Because they love aviation. That's right. They love it and, and they understand the importance of it, of, of the camaraderie, the education that's that's all in aviation, the, what you learn to carry you through life, and uh, all of our sponsors. If we did, if we didn't have that, obviously we couldn't do it. And uh, it just uh, makes it makes it right. We've been with Airshell now for 21 years. That's hard to believe. I couldn't believe it. Uh, we we've had some sponsors like Strong's Parachute was one of our first sponsors in 1986. They're still with us, so, and uh, it's it's uh, it's just a blast. I have to pinch myself all the time. I really do. I'm just a country boy from Louisiana, doing my thing, and uh, I've had some amazing opportunities to fly a lot of different airplanes. I've flown everything from 
gyrocopters, ultralights, to fighters, bombers, to ag planes, you name it. I've, I've flown a lot of stuff. I've been very fortunate. Your logbook must be amazing. <laughs> you, people get a kick out of reading my logbook because I put in the remarks detailed stuff, you know, about the weather or this or that or this flight sucked or either this <laughs> flight was this flight was good or this flight. It's, there's there's actually actually I actually cracked myself up looking at some of it because a lot of my I mean this logbook goes way back. Yeah. I've gotten. I got like three or four now. I've got over 33,000 hours of flight time now at 62 years old, and that's, that's a pretty good bit. So I've gone, gone through a lot of logbooks, but I, I'll have to pull one of my old ones up when I was younger. It's pretty cool. It has been an absolute pleasure. I thank you so much, Steve, for making the time. I cannot wait for everyone out there to see Team Aeroshell fly. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Stephanie. Well, always a pleasure. We love you. Thanks, man. I appreciate it. Everyone, I'm Steph Strickland with Sun and Fun Aerospace Expo TV.